Hello, dear ones. It's Alice. I am of the stars. And I have a quick uh, discussion regarding keeping the heart open and opening it wider. First, the first thing that happens when we try to open the heart wide is we encounter resistance. And the reason that we encounter this is that the implants in the heart that have been placed there by the uh, four, generally the fourth dimension negative entities, those implants would be um, rendered non-functional and transformed into love if the heart energy is, is, is amped up. So there are programs in place that prevent us uh, or create a sense of dismay and consternation in us if we try to open our hearts wide. If we persist on through the, one of the many spiritual practices that allows the heart to flower and open wide, then what happens is that uh, clear audience sound of, of those like contrivances or implants or, that that are influencing our nervous system to prevent the opening of the heart it increases to a crescendo and then goes away completely okay so what that means when it goes away is that those implants have been um, have been rendered useless and and so just to let you know if you hear um, if you hear um, intelligent but limited discussions about this from what appears to be other personalities in your soul field, you know. These, uh, these are um, most likely um, bots and not beings. Okay, beings have the sense to get out when something like that happens, but bots can't do anything. They're just there to serve the um, 4D negatives or five D negatives. Okay, so they're like machines. They they do have an intelligence and they do have a sense of self preservation, but and you could think of them as body elementals sent to sent to us by some other being. Okay. And anything within our soul field, we have the right to transform. There won't be any the worst for that. They will be greatly the energy that was there that was in them will be will be greatly enhanced when it's transformed to love. And I know this sounds kind of cruel and heartless, but the thing of it is, we human beings, we're kind of like Earth right now. If you've ever seen on the, on the Google images, you go and look for um, the satellites that are circling around the globe. You'll see how very many like sky trash and like that there is in the electromagnetic field of Earth. And the same is true of us right now. We are mirror images of Earth. And all of that trash in Earth's electromagnetic field floating around from whatever, from the satellites and the, whatever it is, um, th that same kind of trash we have in our astral field and Earth has in its astral field, all right? And so these things are being converted to pure light and pure love. Okay, and it's hard for us as as magnificent sentient beings to end even the limited intelligence of a bot-like contrivance that speaks to us. And believe me, 4D negative knows that. Okay, but but you and I are here. You are listening to this video, and I am speaking right now because. We are here to open our hearts completely and transform this creation and our holograms with love, okay? So we just have to persevere through this mind speak. Even uh, know and believe that what we hear is just some programming in our own soul field, not for our own highest interest or highest good, okay? So it's us speaking to us and contradicting what we really need to do, what our soul mission is, all right? That might be a good way for a person with a big heart to look at all that. So on to, on to what to do about it. For those that, that haven't practiced yoga and don't like long-distance running, <laughs> 
may I suggest very simply um, um, the creator breath that Sandra Walter has talked about it. I'll provide a link. It's very simple. It's very quick and it works really well. But because it's so simple and so quick, the interference that you feel from like the things that are like the space trash in your, <laughs> in your heart, in your Taurus field, will immediately assert itself. So it requires strength of will. Okay? God bless you all and keep you with open hearts and open minds.